So here we're going to look at exchange rates and how to deal with them. Uh, there are a number of ways of doing this, but my favorite way is to use ratios all the time. So we're going to write the exchange rate in ratio form. If we've got more than one exchange rate, use more than one line. And then we're going to add lines as we need them and use scale factors to complete the lines or the bits of lines we need. And of course, we need to know what we're going for, so it's a good idea to pick out the answer early. Right, here we go. Let's have a couple of questions. So we've got an exchange rate. One euro is worth 4.28 Polish zloty. And we are told that a pair of boots costs 250 zloty in Poland. And we're asked, how many euros is this? So let's follow the rules on the left there. So let's do euros to zloty, and we see that that is 1 to 4.28. Now, so that's my exchange rate, and then let's have a line for the boots, or the cost of the boots, and they cost 250 zloty there, and the answer we want is going to appear here. So what do we do? Well, it says use scale factors. How do I get from 4.28 to 250? As always with scale factors, we multiply by the second thing over the first thing. And if we do that on one side of the ratio, we must do that on the other side of the ratio. So we multiply 1 by 250 over 4.28. And if I do that to the nearest cent, I get uh, 58.41. And that is my answer. And then the second question. In Poland, a particular watch costs 175 zloty. And in France, the same watch costs 45 euros. In which country is it cheaper? Well, all we need to do is decide whether to get, convert one into uh, zloty or one into euros. So same exchange rate. Here we go, writing it out again. And then let's look at the watch and this time the cost of the watch in euros is 45 so let's convert that into zloty why am i doing it that way around well because actually of course the scale factor is easier this way around because the scale factor from 1 to 45 is just 45 and so if i multiply that by 45 the 4.28 that should be easier so in France, it costs 45 euros, which is the same as 192.6 zloty. Okay, now is that more or less than the Polish price? Well, we can say since 192.6 is bigger than 175, it is cheaper in Poland. Okay, so there you go. There's a couple of questions with one exchange rate. Let's just do something with two exchange rates. Now I have the same exchange rate for euros and zloty, and I'm also given that one zloty is worth 5.98 karuna in the Czech Republic. And we're told about a particular designer handbag which costs 250 euros in Paris, uh, 1050 zloty in Warsaw, which is in Poland, and 5,800 karuna in Prague, which is the capital of the Czech Republic. And we're asked, in which city is the handbag the most expensive? Well, there are, even using ratios, a number of ways of doing this, um, but let's just do it in one of those ways. So, let's write down euros uh, to zloty to Czech karuna. Okay, which looks like that. And so one of our exchange rates is 1 to 4.28 there. Okay, I don't know what that is in Karuna. I don't need to work it out. The other one is 1 to 5.98 there. Okay, so that's Lotti to Karuna. And then let's look at, well, what we could do is we could convert them all to... Um, uh, euros or all to Zloty or all to Karuna, or we could just look at the price in Paris, let's say, and compare it 
to the others. So that's the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to say in Paris it's 250 euros. And what is that in Zloty? Well, okay, we've done this sort of thing before. So what do we need to do? We need to multiply 1 by 250 to get 250. And so we need to multiply uh, the 4.28 by 250 as well. And that gives me 1,070. And we see very quickly that it is more expensive in Paris, as it only costs 1,050 zloty in Warsaw, but the Paris price is 1,070 zloty. So we can quickly say that Paris is more expensive than Warsaw. And so we can now essentially uh, ignore Warsaw in the rest of our calculations. And if we convert the Paris price into Karuna and see whether it's more expensive in Prague or not, well, how do we do that easily? Well, we've got the Paris price in Zloty, and we know the exchange rate between Zloty and Karuna, and so we just work with that. And we can say, look, we multiply by 1,070 there, and we multiply by 1,070 there. And that will give us here the uh, price of the Paris handbag in Karuna. And 5.98 times 1,070 is 6,398.6, which again is bigger, quite a lot bigger, than the Prague cost of the handbag. And so we can say that Paris is also bigger than Prague, and so Paris is the most expensive. As I say, there are other ways of doing that question, but that seems to me to be one of the more logical and certainly one of the quickest ways of doing it. So, exchange rate, use ratios.